Hey guys, first of all, I want to just say that I am so deeply sorry for everything. <laughs> These past few months, they've just been so hard for me and so hard for all of my friends and family on the Waffle Maker SMP server. I'm sorry that you have to see me like this. It's, it's been a tough couple of months. You know, I've been in and out of the server. Some days I have more time than others to record and to play video games with people online and upload those videos to YouTube. Now some would say that playing video games like Minecraft and uploading them on the internet isn't a very difficult job. To which I have to say it's been incredibly stressful for me and everyone else involved. And you may have been wondering where I've been in these past couple of months on the Waffle Maker server. And the answer to that is we're back, baby. Now, quick thing that I've got to disclose is that throughout the course of these last two-ish months, I've been recording a little bit here and there just when I've had time but I haven't exactly had enough footage to put together an entire episode. So the first little bit of this episode is gonna be shit that I recorded like two months ago. And at some point I'll tell you when I'm gonna switch back to present day. So hopefully that kind of clears it up and let's get right into it. I have had quite the week, all right? I just finished, I just turned in my third midterm exam, okay? Jeez. It's so much. College is so freaking hard sometimes, man. And I just turned in my third midterm exam. I've been studying my ass off all week. I finally get to hop on the server. And I hop on the server and I see this. And I remember that I told everyone that I was going to fill this up before the start of the next episode. And oh my god, I have to deal with villagers now. And I just wanted a break, man. I just wanted to play some Minecraft. But no, it's fine. We can just do this. I. <laughs> That's it. I'm holding the competition. Who can do the highest backflip off of my fucking balcony? I'm gonna be holding this competition. My place right now, let's go. That's it, I'm doing it. I can't, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm sorry. I don't think I can take this anymore, bro. Also, Waffle Time wants to talk to me, we'll see what that's about. Why am I back on the island that we started the season on, you ask? Well, guess what, motherfucker? Waffle Time's got a proposition for us. Let's hear it, Waffle Time. Yo, yo, okay, so hear me the fuck out, alright? Yeah. No one, no one on the server has access to anything Ocean Temple related, correct? That's true. So if you want to check in these two little boxes right here, I've prepared for us a handful of potions in this purple chest. Wow. A handful of temporary blocks. You were kind enough to gather all of this soul sand. I have TNT, I blocks was. of redstone, several items. You know what we're going to do with these? What are we going to do? We're just going to... We're gonna fucking demolish this temple over here. We're gonna take all its goods. We're gonna set up a good farm And we're gonna we're gonna make profit and we're gonna be able to build cool shit with the blocks that it provides. Yeah, I'm ready Let's do it Well, pretty much here's here's what's gonna happen. You gotta pretend some of this. Okay, so here's Part of it, right? So what you're gonna want to do is place it down surround it by blocks and then place the redstone block on top of it. Boom, right, right there. Hit. So it's completely surrounded, so nothing gets nullified, and you're good. And we can just bust on through and we'll be fine. All right, time to bust. All right, you getting the left side? Uh, yeah, I'll take left, I'll take left. We're gonna have this bitch done in no time. Now. Are they killing you? Um, kind of, but I think you I got it handled. Okay. Did you set your spawn over here? I did. Okay, I totally didn't. Donut. Oh shit. What? Uh, nothing. I'm fine. Don't worry. Are you seeing? Bro God over damn. Here? I'm sorry. What Wait. was that? Are you seeing bro over here? Yeah, I'm seeing. Whoa. Yeah, I'm seeing bro over here. Okay, I'm gonna equip all my armor real quick and fuck him up. All right, I killed him. Jesus. I um took a little bit of damage. Are you, are you but almost dead? <laughs> overall, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Okay, I took his sponges. I got his head? No fucking way. 
whenever I'm actually inside. All right, that's fair. I think we're good. I think we did it. I think the temple is liberated. Could okay, be. so that was a massive success. But yeah, congratulations, brother. Very successful. Um, let me see here. Uh, I have a gift for you. Maybe you could just try that on and see how it, how it looks. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> how am I? <laughs> it's the most hideous shit I've ever seen in my life. Bro, what are you talking about? That's low-key cool. <laughs> he looked like a Mandalorian. <laughs> These little fuckers love to play games. They love to just hit me with their laser beams and then run away fast. Oh shit, my potion's about to go out. I almost just drowned right there without even realizing it. Holy fuck, you think there's enough? Alright, I'd be kind of hard to see. Off time's got the portal going up right there. I got the fucking top cleared out. Ah, more of them keep coming in. <laughs> um, but I'm basically, next order of business is to put a giant ring of... What the fuck is it called? Soul sand. A giant ring of soul sand around the edge. And that's going to be pushing them up. That's, that's the next order of business once I get more, more air and more invisibility. All right, so we made a little bit of progress on this on this little station over here. So we got a little platform, a little temporary thing going up. Water's gonna go on top of it. Uh, we got the nether portals in. We just uh, got some more soul sanded, soul sanding to do on the bottom. We've got some of it in, but we've got gotta finish that up. And then we've gotta put some water in it, do some nether action, and we should be good. Uh, the only problem is I have run out of uh, invisibility and water breathing. So I'm kind of useless on this project as of right now, so. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave and not tell Waffle Time anything and, uh, see if he notices. Hmm? What? Oh shit, I didn't mute myself. Alright, fuck. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to continue helping. Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought I heard something else. I don't... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm like that. Just spent a long night AFKing. Had the mob farm chunked up enough to get me back up to level 20 after I died. Got some villagers. Nice villager action going on. I covered it up so that we wouldn't have a repeat of last time. And I got a lot of pumpkins, so I'm pretty happy. I have also... I got kicked at some point last night, but I logged on and Cheese Ham told me to go collect my mail at the shopping district. So, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go check it out. I do know that after I eventually left Waffle Time, he did in fact... The fuck? Finish his little guardian farm thing, so... Maybe it has something to do with that. I'm not entirely sure. That looks new. Is that a post office? I guess this is a post office. There's, there I am. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Did everyone get one of these? Holy smokes. All right. I ain't complaining. All right, this is Cheese Ham's doing. He's the one who fronted all the netherite for this, so we're gonna have to thank him somehow. Now, I have gotten a couple, not a whole lot, but a couple of extra villagers in here. I, uh, filled them up up to here, gave one of these guys looting action, and got this guy the fortune. So we're pretty much done with the tools. I, I do have two guys here reserved for, for, ah, uh, what is it, lure and luck of the sea, because those are the only two other tool enchants that exist. And then, that's why I moved this guy over here to give him a weapon enchant. But these guys are all going to be weapon enchants. And then tool enchants right here, and then armor enchants are going to be all along the back here. We are going to have every enchantment in this enchanting hall. People are going to come from from very far away when they finally realize that someone actually offers Curse of Vanishing, and that the the one time that they need it. Oh, hello. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to try and get this all filled up a little bit more. Then the next order of business, as soon as we're done with that, is to get an iron farm in here which hopefully shouldn't be too much work. I know I say that a lot, and it ends up being a lot of work. But this one, hopefully, shouldn't actually be too much work, because I pretty much got all the materials that I need for it. Um, it just needs a bunch of minecarts and rails and stuff like that. But luckily, since we've got farms and iron shops and all that kind of stuff, I don't need to spend... I don't need to use too much iron to make the iron farm, which is something that can be a problem in the single-player world, so... I'm gonna cut back when I got the resources and we can hopefully get started on this project. And that brings us back to present day. I am currently recording this on the 6th of May and basically the plan today is to just go mental. So I've got this section right here 
for my storage system for the mob farm because the mob farm's puny little two chest storage system is incredibly pathetic and it's starting to fill up really fast. I'm going to do that and then we're going to get some iron farm going. So I'm going to just, just sit back for a little bit and just, just take in the sights and sounds as I just absolutely demolish this beautiful natural landscape right here. <laughs> Good news everyone, the machine is complete. That's right, all of this time, all of this effort, and check this baby out. This was the plan from the start of this season. Look at how nicely this thing fits together. Oh, I am just so happy. And if you check this out right here, I've AFK'd for a couple of hours, and we've already got almost two rows of iron out of this baby. And guess what? This bad boy isn't even at half capacity right now. I've got seven villagers in that pod right there. I've got seven villagers in that pod and nothing in the other two. And that's because I physically ran out of gold for these powered rails. I used as few powered rails as possible and just barely managed to squeak the villagers into that spot right there. So even at half capacity, this thing's still doing some fucking work. I ain't gonna lie, this thing's still, this thing is still bussing. This particular design was by a guy named Mysticat, and I'll put his tutorial down in the bottom so that you guys can make this if you want to, but I have had to modify it a little bit because I put the little mob chute down here in the center. Uh, so instead of being a three block or a five block middle, I guess I've had to extend it out by two blocks. That's great because that just leaves more capacity for villagers right there, which is uh, which is quite brilliant, uh, might I say. I've also added a little auto storage hookup right here, so you can see we've got all of our nice little assets funneling into these chests. I've got it, we've got it all hooked up. It is beautiful, it is brilliant. Well, it's not really all that beautiful, but we'll work on that later. The next thing that is becoming more and more apparent as a problem to me is the fact that we don't actually have a base. We've just got this giant machine in the middle. So um, the next order of business, I think, is to at least make some place underground where I can put my stuff in AFK or to at least make the top of this mountain somewhat livable in. I would like to, I would like to put some walls around this area in a way that looks nice. The only problem is doing that is not easy. So We'll see how that looks. I'm, I'm gonna throw down some a couple of skeleton designs here and we'll see how it ends up looking. All right, this should give us kind of a general idea of how this is gonna look. That could be cool. Okay, I think the front right there is a bit stubby. Yeah, that's definitely a little stubby. So, probably extend that one out a little bit. I mean, we're running into a bit of a limitation here with the mountain but probably some find a way to extend that out a little bit more and I think we should be good there I'm at least liking the shape of it I like the idea of these like four towers so that's cool I think we'll go ahead and proceed with that I'm just not quite sure how to integrate it with the top right here I'm running into a bit of an unanticipated problem where I'm putting these platforms down and iron golems are spawning on top of them so I have to spawn proof everything uh, which is kind of a pain in the ass when it comes to building like with actual finished structures There's gonna be like stairs and things on on them. So it's not gonna be too big of a deal But when I'm just putting up scaffolding and putting up frames and stuff to see how it looks It's kind of a pain, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing and I want to put these large Dark oak logs right there. I want to see how that looks so Cut back to that in a quick second see how it looks Well, I'll be damned. There's actually starting to be a base here Check that out, guys. I mean, it's definitely not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's a start. There's definitely some detailing I need to do. But I, I'm gonna, I'm thinking throwing a little window like that in on each side, kind of extend the sides out a little bit more. Put a nice roof on it. It could be, it could be some nice towers going on in the corners over here. Yeah, there's definitely some work to do, but I'm glad that there's actually starting to be a structure here instead of just this amalgamation of farms and stuff. So yeah, that's that's really nice. I'm very relieved to see that. But I'm thinking I'm going to end the episode off here. So thank you guys all so much for watching. 
I really appreciate it. Make sure to check out the other episodes. Also, if you notice that the castle behind me is starting to look a little bit familiar, that's because I'm kind of basing it off my castle tutorial. So if you haven't seen that yet, then definitely go check it out. And you'll see kind of step by step how I do the process. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Wizard, and peace out.